What's going on you guys? Today we're gonna to be playing with this cloud pour mix and then colors that have been mixed with just pouring medium, no silicone at all. So we have this metallic turquoise color, titanium white, thalo blue, and then this is cerulean blue. This is the cloud pour mix. And I'm gonna to try to intersperse and layer it so that it has some effects on this canvas. But this is gonna be a flip cup, not a straight pour. I loved using these colors last time, and I just want to use them again because <laughs> they're, they're glorious. All right, so we're going to start layering. I do want this metallic to be uh, very solid and pronounced. So we're going we're gonna to hope we can get that. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing amazing. I'm having a great day. Moving day is tomorrow. Ooh, I can't wait. So excited. Now, I think the best use of this would be to kind of, instead of making a puddle, kind of draw lines in the cup as I layer it. Honestly, I think that would be the best use of this white, the cloud pour. I'm not letting these colors churn too much. Kind of alternating dark and light. Going for some good contrast. I don't know what this cloud pour is even going to do. I'm hoping it creates some really cool cloud-like cells. I think that would be the best outcome. Maybe we need more than that. Let's kind of draw lines in it as we layer. And then work our way around. Kind of want to bury it. So I don't want it to shift all over the place, like out of the way. And then we got a little bit of this left. Have fun with it. This is the bottom, so we'll see. We'll see what we get. It's all an experiment, you guys. I like playing with new things and, you know, get ideas in my head and I just can't get them out. So this is what happens when I get these ideas in my head. I just experiment. And a lot of the cloud mix I have mixed up already. I'm not going to be able to ship, so I'm trying to use it and trying to, like, find some creative ways to use it because I can't ship it. So let's put maybe, I don't know, should we like let it churn? Yeah, we'll let it churn just a little bit. There we go. I think that's all the paint we will need. All right, well, this is like the moment of truth here. You can see the stark color difference between the cloud white and the titanium white. Not sure why. Maybe less of a violent flip would be best. So let's see. Maybe introducing less bubbles. Now I got paint all over me. Cause I'm trying to paint a couple videos today. Cause I do want to still be able to give you guys content for while I'm in the process of moving. You guys are a, a blessing. Let's see, hopefully we get something kind of wicked cool. We'll see. I know I need to pop those bubbles. Something's going wonky with the um, the metallic turquoise. You can see it's kind of pulling apart. Maybe I have too much of a pouring medium in there. All right, those bubbles are gone. Or that might just be the way it's interacting with the cloudy white color. I'm not sure yet. But we'll know more once we stretch it. And everything I touch gets paint all over me. Goodness gracious. I am going to let it set here for just a moment. 
because I'm seeing more bubbles rising to the surface and I want to get those before we spin it because I really don't want the bubbles to disturb the lines too much. Yeah, I think that is the cloudy white. That's cool looking, okay, I like it. All right, make sure the weight of the paint is in the middle. Yeah, it is, all right. And we're gonna give it one decent spin. Yeah, we're starting to see more kind of clouds pop up, which is exciting because once I thin these layers out, I'm thinking we're gonna start seeing a lot more. We got a couple stubborn little bubbles, but I think it's okay for now. All right. Now that was a fairly vigorous spin. I probably spun it way too hard, but in a way that's good. There's not as much paint on the surface to kind of do crazy stuff. Let me slow this thing down. Okay, it created some pretty cool lacing going through. We still have these really awesome transparencies going on. You can see here there's bubbles that didn't quite get to the surface. But that's really cool. It has a really nice metallic shimmer. And we did keep a really like sharp defined area of that metallic, which is one thing that I did want. I am seeing a little bit of cell development coming from that cloud mix, but there's not a whole lot. What's kind of strange is there's this really, really small, delicate lacing going over this white right here. Then we got this band of lacing right here, which is actually really cool. That's as far as I'm going with this one though. So let me bring you guys down. I want you guys to check this thing out because some of the camera you're looking through right now doesn't do justice to the metallics that are showing up in this. And I want to make sure you guys can see that really well. All right, so I have the flash on so you guys can see the sparkle that's going throughout the whole piece. And then it looks like that lacing that I'm hovering over right now was made with that turquoise color because you can kind of see it. And then we got this really awesome ribbon of lacing right there. And I believe it was, yeah, it's all the, that metallic turquoise color that's making that lacing. I love this one, it's absolutely stunning. And this one dried really nice. All the little layers and lines and that little lacing survived. And then the metallics that are in it are stunning. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.